Touch glove if you want. Touch glove if you want. Back your corner. Olivier Kurtz, with our final instructions. Five five-minute rounds for the inaugural Women's Strawweight World Championship. Zhang Jinnai, punching judge, power of the judge, panda. Time. Ready? Tiffany Tia, undefeated 7-0 Singapore boxing champion. How will this one go down? There are so many scenarios that could take place. All I know is that wherever you're watching around the world, you've got to be on the edge of your seat for this one. And the punching power coming to fruition early on from Zhang Jinnai. That's what I've been talking about all week of Zhang Jingna. That's going to be one of the biggest differentiating factors in this match. She's just at a little bit higher speed level than Tio. And you can see it with these exchanges right now. Tio's trying to keep her on the edge of that jab, but you can just see the way she's closing the distance. <laughs> Zhang Jingna could not offer us a prediction, except that she would win. Tio said submission by Ramba or KO with a straight right hand. John puts it back against the cage. Tiffany reverses her. Intriguing matchup so far. Good gut munching knee there from Zhang Jingnan. Can she take championship gold back to China? It's never happened before here at one championship. And now Tio inside the Chinese athlete's guard. He speaks so much about Zhang Jingnan's punching power. She has a very underrated ground game. She's very good off her back. And if she has, she has a very good sweep, but she's also got submissions. She likes triangles. You can see she's trying to fight that arm to probably shove it down and throw a possible triangle. Tiffany Tia has become such a well-rounded martial artist, particularly in 2017. Truly a delight to watch what Tiffany can string together. Last time out, an armbar submission over Puja Toma in the very first round. She also took her surrogate cutler in the first round. Triangle. Throws the legs up, hoping for a triangle, does the punishing panda. You can see Tio's doing the right thing, looking up, trying to defend quite well. She's trying to scramble out, turn the corner there. She's able to get in the side control. Zhang Jina has got to move. In Tio's corner, you see George Hickman giving the instructions. Trying to put it inside the closed guard again. Feet on hips though now from Zhang Jina. A great place for Tio to be, right there in her corner. She can listen to all the instruction from her team out there, Tiger Muay Thai. He had George Hickman telling her exactly what she needs to do, and she's doing exactly that. Zhang Jina is trying to walk back up on the cage, but Tio's got such strength. She's able to just pin Zhang Jina down. Tiffany Tio, the physically larger of the two, Zhang Jina finds her way back to her feet. Can she work some knees of her own? Has an overhook over the right arm of Tiffany. Does indeed throw the knees. Chunks for the elbows here. Tries for the right elbow and misses. Back up to her feet. Good job by Zhang Jingna. He used the cage to get back up. Circle out, break away. Now we're back on the feet. Chad from Zhang Jingna throws the overhand right. She did some damage to April Osinio with that overhand right. She got two underhooks. You can see Atio does a good job of getting that swim in, but just as she does that, Zhang Jinnan goes for the outside trip, gets her down to the ground. Good trip takedown from the Chinese martial artist, Zhang Jinnan. Inside the guard of Tio, postures up, back to her feet, lands a popping left hand. Eats an up kick from the Singaporean sensation. Up here again, this is the target. Zhang goes to side control, can she take the back? Strength of that overpower and kick back to her feet. One minute to go. Let's see some of the boxing prowess from the former Singapore boxing champion, Tiffany Tia. Pinching up. Tia looking for a takedown. Jones straight back to her feet. Nice knee, threads at the upper left rib cage. Now Tiffany in top position, Mitch. Ah, Tiffany was able to use that height advantage as Zhang Jina through the knee. She was able to push her over and end up on top. Good use of the feet to get onto the hip to create a little bit of space. Zhang Jina. Oh! It's a high kick! And she shrugs it off. Just clicked her with the toes. Didn't get her with the instep. And Zhang Jina left hook her right hand. 
right flesh hit. Back against the cage. Here comes the hooks from John Jing Nan. Oh, John Jing Nan loves to go toe to toe, stand in the pocket and throw those hands. Those wild flowing punches are too tense for our opponent. And now we're back down on the ground. John Jing Nan, top position. Just chucking fireballs at her opponent there as she stands in the pocket and starts to let those hands go. Good round from both martial artists in that round. Here's that trip as Cho was trying to swim that arm in. Shung Ji Na was able to get the outside trip, get on top. Here she is, look at that, lightning fast. Gets around the back, but Tiffany Cho able to throw her off. Back down the canvas, gets on top position. Back and forth action throughout that round. Here's that high kick, bingo! Right on the button, what you got? Let's do some more. Good opening round, Michael. We still got four more. Chong Jinan to BJJ China Open Champion, but she hasn't won by submission since her pro debut back in 2014, when she shot out in a hood side with an armbar in just 50 seconds. Since then, it's her hands that have done the damage. All of the finishes have come via TKO from punches. Second round of five, sellout crowd inside the convention center in Jakarta. It's one championship, kings of courage. And the biggest championship of all is on the line in this one. Ready? Will Tio take it back to Singapore? There's swelling around Tio's right eye. Jab two from Tio. Let's see who use the kicks underneath to try to slow down the boxing of Jean. Overhand right to a left foot from Jean. It's her bread and butter combination. Overhand right again from the Chinese athlete. Jab two down the centre corridor. The hands are fast. The hands are powerful. And Tiffany ties her up. Likes to open up with that overhand right. She throws it with such velocity. It comes almost out of nowhere. It's hard for Tio to kind of see it, especially with the damage to her left eye. But she should be okay because it's not coming from the same side. Now she's pressing her up against the cage. Fence, fence. that tries for the outside trip, but able to spin her around. Zhang Jinan hunting with that left hand. Shakes up the arms, recomposes, resets, launches that right hand down the corridor again. Fakes it there to Zhong Jinnan. The head movement. You can feel some confidence building on the Chinese panda. Tiffany's got to be careful when she disengages from that kick. They get in tight, and you can see when she separates, her hands are down. Zhang can catch her, drags her to the mat. Now possibly setting up a choke here. Might want to spin around to the back. This is an ultra-aggressive round from Zhong Jinnan. She tags her with the hand. And Tio backs off. There's the jab to the nose. The overhead. Headlock takedown. She's gonna face. She could do a possible bulldog choke here. She's gonna try to crucifix that arm, but she spins around, gets back up to her knees. There's so much determination in Tio. She's not gonna let any give up any position whatsoever easily. Nice little knee to the bread basket there from Zhang Jinnan. Tiffany breaks off. Body shot. From Zhong Jinnan, it's been her round thus far. All the speed of that left hook, and there's the overhand right. She's hip hunting again. Every time she disengages, her hands are down. She's got to be careful with that, especially the way that Zhong Jinnan throws that heap of hands. Well, Tio is questioning the gas tank of Zhong Jinnan, but it's Zhong Jinnan who's the fresher here. And Tio looks to be fading. It may be due to the punishment she's taken from the hands of Zhong Jinnan. Zhong Jinnan drives her across the cage, locks her up, and Tiffany Tio grimaces. What can she do here, Mitch, to try and swing the pendulum? She's got to spin around. She does a good job by getting young hooks on the judge. She presses her away from the cage. Now she's going to try to spin. She's got to keep those hands up. She's got to be careful. You can't stay out of the pocket like that. Three quick punches from Zhong Jinnan. And no response from Tiffany Tia. Here comes Zhong again. The high kick. Try to around the back of the neck. Fantastic round here from Zhong Jinnan. Knee on belly now. Super aggressive position from Zhang. Pins down the left side with the knee. Knee on belly. Here come the punches. Tio's got a scramble. No way to go. Again. No way to go. Olivia Cost on top of the action. Now Zhang takes the back. She's going to try and put the hooks in. She's 
two, back to one there for Zhong Jin now. Taylor's got plenty of options from top position, a position she likes to be in. We know she's got powerful ground and pound too. Yeah, but this scene right here, this seems to be Zhong Jin now's plan. She creates a little bit of space, feet on the hips, creates a little bit of separation, and uses it to escape. There she was able to send Tio over the top of her. And Zhong Jin now tries to power through. Here comes the ground and pound again. Book with the down one, have a fist strike. Could she go to the go daddy knock out of the night? But Tiffany Tio's not about to wave the white flag. She's not going to go quietly into the night. And the Singaporean sensation back to her feet and back to her jab. She is not going to throw in the towel by any means necessary. Throw in that jab, continually moving forward. There's so much heart, so much determination in Tio. Zhongzi now is going to have to end it if she wants to walk out of Jakarta with the belt. Tiffany Tio is going to take Zhongzi Nan into deeper water. And I've got to say, Zhang Jinnan still looks relatively fresh to me. Let's take a look at some of the past action from that round. Here's, look at this outside trip, beautifully done. Goes knee on belly, starts dropping a little bit of punishment. Here's a beautiful escape from Tio. Zhang Jinnan had the back, but Tio fights her way out. Ends up on top, does a little bit of damage of her own. But look at this beautiful sweep here. Up and over Tio goes. Zhong Ji Na gets on top, throws a knee, punishing Tio with the ground and pound, dropping some bombs. Now, this round is about condition. Who can dig deep? Who can reach down inside of themselves and realize that they want to walk out of Jakarta with the championship belt around their waist? We are going deep. Into the third round, set for five. Tiffany Tio's face tells the story of the damage inflicted by Zhong Jinnan and her right. mighty punching panda fist. Right, so. Ready? But you can never Ready? rule out Tiffany Tio. She comes in undefeated 7 and 0, and she's got a lot of tricks up her proverbial sleeve. Will she sit behind the jab again here, Tio? Jong thread that overhand right. And she does indeed. Watch out your head, watch out your head. Oh, front kick to the mouth. And Jong backs up, no chill. There's the left hook. There's the right hook. And the left again. She's got more hooks than a tackle box for Jong Jinnan. And Tio ties her up. Can Tio maybe get shot down and get on top of them? And indeed she does just that. She does inside trip that time. That seems to be the takedown these young ladies want to employ the most. They like going for these trips. They like to get the clinch and drag it to the mat. Here we go, Tio. This is where she can rest a little bit. She's in a dominant position, but you can see that Zhang Jina is going to get her feet on her hips, create a little bit of space, start to push away, and start to move exactly just that. Look at that. She sits right up, pops back up to her feet. It's been the favoured weapon in the hands of Zhong Jin now, and she throws it again, and Tio leads under. There's another left hook from Zhong, switches to the right hand. She's throwing the heavy artillery. Big one to the jaw, and Tiffany does a quick count of her teeth. Zhong Jin now, looking confident. Looping punches from the Chinese martial artist. Tio's got to start to work her kicks here. Got to try and slow down the boxing of the panda. That right hand is connecting on Tio's chin. She has to be careful. Every time she's disengaging, her hands are down. Even for a brief moment, Zhang Jinan cannot grab the cage time, like that. Time, time. That's a no-no. Olivia Costa made yellow card here. Oh, here he's, it comes. Going, he's going into the back pocket. It was a deliberate grab of the cage. Stern warning from Olivier Coast. Will he pull out the yellow card? Ooh, faked it. Oh, faked it. Wow. A very stern warning. As Zhang Jinan glances to her corner, they are screaming instructions at her. Tiffany Tia is still here. No chill. Big right hand to the orbital. And again from Zhang Jinan. Tio taking some heavy blows. John just stalking her around the cage now. Double one takedown from Tiffany Tio. Outside John's go. Beautiful takedown by Tio. Possible oh, blocking here. One more 
across a shoulder lock. You see there from the panda. Gonna switch it to a penalty. of what has been an absolutely thrilling clash for the inaugural Women's Strawweight World Championship. Tio is still here. And as long as Tio is still here, she could pull off a victory. Ready? Fourth round. Chalk! Tio's face an absolute mess. Prowess in the hands of Zhong Jinnan is astounding. And she opens up the hooks again. Overhand right to a left took That bread and butter combination from Zhong Jinnan. Goes to the body, looking for the ribs. Tio's got to sling the legs, got to slow down the boxing of Zhong. I'd like to see her put some leg kicks together. Both these ladies are only using the front push kicks. If you attack the legs, you're gonna slow your opponent down. Throw the leg kicks. Hurt him. Hurt him. Slow him down. Oh, which what about if Tiffany digs deep and simply tries to launch the jaw of Zhong Jinnan? Tiffany's a boxing champion. And last time against Osinio, Osinio actually rocked Zhong Jinnan early on in their contest with her hands. Very true, but we 
are deep into this match, Michael. Does she have the power, the reserves? She doesn't look like she's even moving very well. She can barely stand at this point. Her knees are shaky, wobbly. Does she have that one hitter fitter inside of her? I don't know. Zhong Jina is continually marching forward. Look at that, throwing those punches like she's throwing baseballs into the crowd. Overhand right has been a trip. Hoping for a trip take down now. Back's Tiffany against the cage. Tiffany wants to end up in top position. And Zhong Jina says, no, not going to happen. The cardio here from Zhong Jin Nan, I'm sure, has surprised Tiffany Tio. It surprised me a little because she still looks so fresh, bitch. She does. She looks very relaxed, very comfortable in there, even as we're approaching the 18-minute mark. But is she going to be able to get Tio out of there? She has to change up her game plan because she knows that going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Tio, Tio's not going to buckle. Left hook again. Swinging for a knockout is Zhang Jinnan. Overhand right, roundhouse kick, tucks it under the arm. Overhand right again, here comes the power, here come the flurries. Zhang Jinnan, a house on fire. Big right hand, the big come up, and Zhang and Irene! The age of China is now upon us at one championship. China has their first one championship. World Champion! Zhang Jinnan with a big contender for the Go Daddy Knockout of the Night! Plant Tiffany Tio like a tree! Wow! Zhang Jinnan goes toe to toe with Tiffany Tio and another opponent goes down at the mighty hands of the Panda! Oh. You could see that there was no quit in T.O. She stood there. She took everything the Panda had. Olivier Cost had to jump in and call the action. History made. What a moment for Zhang Jinnan. What a moment for China. The emergence of a new superpower in the one martial arts cage. Real history in the making here. And wherever you're watching, potentially 1.7 billion viewers, you've got to be impressed. I told you she was the biggest, most exciting signing by one championship in 2017. She showed why here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee, Mr. Olivier Coast, has put a stop to this contest after two minutes and 17 seconds in the fourth round for your winner by way of referee stoppage due to strikes and the first one who wins strawweight world champion Sean T. This is a moment that is history that will go down in history as Victor Queen places the belt on the shoulder of Zhong Jinnan and gold rains down upon the one championship cage. The age of China is now upon us in one championship. This, the first ever Chinese world champion here in one championship. This is truly the beginning of an era. You've been witnessing history made tonight. And that young lady, Zhang Jinnan, has taken one championship into new water, into new territory, somewhere we've never been before with a Chinese world champion. Let's go to Mitch Chilson with the chair. Jakarta, Indonesia, I am here with the first ever one strawweight women's world champion, Zhong Jing Na! What an action-packed main event here.
here in Jakarta, you put on a tremendous display of martial arts. I know there was a very deep meaning behind this match. You did this for your family. You did this for so many reasons. Tell me, how do you feel? Tai 也更感谢我的团队阿里教练 to, to show China, to show like, you know, women MMA and what women can do. And she wants to thank Phuket Top Team, Coach Eric, Tick, uh, me. <laughs> and of course, she wants to give this to her grandma and grandfather that they just passed away recently. And of course for China. Excellent job. You've had many knockouts in your career, but that was a spectacular knockout. And I believe that was the Go Daddy knockout of the night. Take a look up at the big screen and watch how you did it. Boom, putting combinations together, letting the hands go. Tio couldn't take it anymore, crumbled to the mat. How do you feel to be the first Chinese one world champion? <laughs> Thank she, she, she represents China, so she, has, she, she takes a lot of pride in that. And she's very happy to represent China and actually takes the belt. Uh, she feels great. This is a great victory for her. She's overwhelmed. And of course, she wants one to help her uh, like send her message to more women in this world to help them like have more courage and like to trust in themselves and, and fight. The message is sent loud and clear. Jakarta, Indonesia, give it up for the first ever women's strawweight one world champion. It was indeed the Go Daddy knockout of the night. Go Daddy knockout a website in under an hour. Shonjuna.